Hi guys and welcome back to another update video. So uh, this is going to be the March update video. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is I have something on my head. Uh, usually what I do is I actually have uh, actually record my audio kind of through my webcam, uh, but I decided to use some of the money that I've kind of earned from YouTube, which isn't that much. Uh, I've actually kind of used that and a lot of my own money to actually buy myself a nice kind of headset. And this one actually cost £170. It's a, it's a broadcast microphone. As you can see here, it's quite nice. Uh, so you guys that are in America, it's about 200 I've got it on the screen here, the actual conversion, it's about $285. So it's quite expensive, but it does sound pretty good. And it's a lot kind of a better improvement from my last, kind of using my webcam at least. And it's a lot more comfortable as well. Uh, because before, if I was recording a tutorial, I had to kind of at least have my, my mouth going in the direction of the actual microphone to for it to pick up properly. Otherwise, it kind of just didn't sound right. It went really quiet. So it's kind of made it a lot easier for me as well, and I think you guys have kind of noticed the improvement at least. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be a kind of my monthly update video for you guys that, that kind of haven't seen these before. Uh, and it just kind of covers pretty much everything that's going to be happening, what's kind of happened, uh, improvements, things like that, things that changes that are going to happen, uh, channel while kind of channel wide in total at least. Uh, so the first thing I've got to say is thanks to all you guys. I've now got 5,500 subscribers. I'm over that. Went over that last night, which is absolutely insane. It's complete madness. I really didn't think I'd get this far, especially not this soon. Um, I was really looking at kind of getting to a thousand subscribers, maybe at around I think probably probably this time actually around March time maybe or it might have been 500. I was kind of estimating. I think it was probably 500 to 1,000 subscribers in March. That was my kind of goal, and I'm way over that, which is just absolutely nuts. So I got to say thanks to you guys for for continuing to support me, so to keep watching the channels, to keep giving me the ideas that keep me moving on, especially with those requests. Even though I haven't been able to build anything new, and I'm not going to be building any new big ships for a while, I'm still keeping those on the list, and it still gets tallied up. So for example, uh, the USS Arizona. I wasn't planning on building that for a while, and uh, it got about 20 odd, you know, likes, and I ended up building it and tutorialing it pretty quickly, as you guys saw kind of earlier in the year in in January. So when you do kind of request stuff, it does go onto a big spreadsheet that I've got, and it basically tallies up so that the stuff that's kind of requested the most will get basically done uh, kind of as soon as I start redoing all of the ships and things like that. Um, so just quickly about the actual tutorial list, I'm still working through it. There'll be an updated one in the description below, as there usually is every single month, which will be just the ones that are kind of left. Of course, we had the Mary Rose today, which is now my, my longest tutorial. That's an absolute pain in the ass. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the how, what kind of way I did the sales on that, if you, if you kind of haven't had a look at that yet. Um, but I completely went through it. Usually I just give you a kind of idea of how to do it. Instead, this time I just recorded absolutely everything took about an hour and a half uh, to actually do those sales so that that kind of um, was a bit different but I think that probably will help you guys out a bit more than the way I was doing it before um, so yeah the tutorial list just working through it as I can um, you know I just have to kind of work it work doing YouTube around work and that's what I've been doing so far you know just making sure that I've got enough time for obviously uh, both and also to actually have free time and, and kind of enjoy life outside work as well um, so yeah, uh, estimates on on the, on those kind of videos and those tutorials. Just there won't be any, uh, just because I can't estimate how long something's going to take me. Um, so another thing, the H44. I did say I wanted to get that in March. I might be able to do it. It's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. It's a lot longer. Um, it's really taking quite a while. I've done I've done one layer and I've spent I've got about 31 minutes of raw footage, which for a build. Any build I've ever done before is the longest, and it took me absolutely ages. Um, so I'm going to just have to take my time with that. What I'll probably do to get that recorded is just take a break from YouTube. I'll have to probably take two weeks off or something like that and just upload no videos. Because currently what I'm trying to do, say if I, I want to get out the next week, so I destroy a tutorial like the, the Type 42 or something like that, I'd record that, and then whatever spare time I've got, I would then, you know, spend on the H44, and I haven't had any at all lately. So what I need to do is literally just basically stop recording everything else, and just do the H44, and that that will kind of make it a lot easier for me. So there will probably be a, a probably two get two week gap, kind of either in this month or maybe at the end of March, and then and then the beginning of April. So that'll just to be to get that tutorial recorded really, and and get that one out of the way. 
Um, and there's not really any way I can actually do around that at all. There's no, there's no way around that. Um, the Dakarages is returning tomorrow for you guys that actually follow that, that follow my medieval stuff. And it is an absolutely epic episode. I am really, really happy with it. Um, I'm really proud of how it actually turned out. You know, it was really good. It took me a while. I think it took me about two to three weeks of basically recording it because I wanted to get an extended episode. I wanted you guys to show you, you guys the entire castle and how I've actually built that and, and do the time lapse, which was uh, just incredibly time consuming because I showed you guys like some stuff on one side and then it'll switch and, and then the other side I'll basically do off camera. So, especially with the towers, which, you know, uh, it was taking me about 12 minutes or about 20 minutes actually to re basically record in real time uh, what I was doing. I was then going to have to copy that to another three towers, so it was really taking its time on that. You know, it was taking uh, you know an hour and 20 minutes to do to do what you guys saw in about 30 seconds. Uh, so there's a lot of that. So that's why it took so long. But it is going to be out, and hopefully I'm going to be kind of continuing the decorators on uh, as usual. What I might have to do as well, uh, just because it's, it's starting to get very very difficult. Uh, with doing the Dakarages and also doing the tutorials, the big tutorials, I might just alternate them. And I, I've been thinking about dropping down the big tutorials instead of having them once a week, which is an absolute insane number compared to all the other channels that you see, all the kind of other channels that are kind of my, in a way, competitors. Um, you know, I, I've been doing that and kind of knocking that out really, really, really quickly compared to everybody else. And I think I'm going to have to do it to one every two weeks and then basically alternate the, the decorations and things like that and try and kind of fill up with um, with other stuff as well that isn't as time consuming because those big tutorials do take me a huge amount of time Mary Rose for example probably took me 10 hours and that, that took a you know a good two days um, so I literally just couldn't work on anything else uh, and it's kind of gets stressful you can't just keep on pushing with this stuff YouTube and and people that are generally on YouTube do generally you know work themselves to death, and I, I I've got to just take a break and take a kind of a chill pull with that, and just kind of step back a little bit and split up things into a kind of more manageable thing. What it will mean is that you guys are going to get better quality videos in a way, because I'm not going to be trying to rush myself, especially with, for example, Dakarages. You know, some of them I have had to rush myself on them. I kind of push them forwards as quickly as I can uh, just to get it onto the next thing because of because of the kind of kind of time lapse thing. So that's probably going to happen. I'm probably going to have to go down to one every two weeks, and uh, that's pretty much it. Unless I've got smaller ones. Um, obviously, you guys have kind of been treated as you've had the USS Independence, and after that, you've had the Mary Rose two really complex kind of really big tutorials. Um, so those those kind of ones would be then be switched to a one every two weeks. Um, what I might try and do instead is do just like, I don't know, for the time being, see how it is with, with just having two big tutorials, um, kind of a month, and then having those medium sized kind of patrol ships, minesweepers, those kind of smaller ones that I've still got to do, fit those in there. Um, either that or, or fit in the medieval stuff like the town hall tutorial, I've got to still do that. That's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big, long tutorial. Um, but that's pretty much it for that. Um, the kind of server stuff, I want to start, talk about the server stuff and kind of things that I've been thinking about really, really kind of doing. Um, I really want to get a modern city on, on the kind of go. Um, I've been talking to a couple of the subscribers that I've kind of used for a while as kind of advisors, I guess, that give me kind of ideas. Um, and I can bounce back things forwards and backwards and things like that. It's really, really useful um, for me especially. So I really want to do a big kind of city server where I'm, I'm doing the same kind of the Dakarage style thing with the time lapse videos, at least on some of it. I probably won't do all of it, but also what I want to do is I want to get you guys involved. I want to basically make it so, um, you know, there'll be areas where I'll be building uh, and you won't be able to build. Um, you know, I'll, I'll put some plugins or something like that. I'm not too sure which plugins I need to use. I need to look into that. Um, but there'll be areas where you guys can build. And also, what I want to do is I want to obviously. In there, there'll be like a commercial airport, military airports. But in the commercial airport, I'll build the main structure, and then I'll I'll basically build uh, small places for shops, and you guys will be able to populate it. So, you know, you'll be literally be able to claim a small plot as your own, as your own little shop, and then kind of go wild with it. You know, I want that kind of uh, style. So it's still going to be kind of mainly my my builds, but it's going to be kind of populated by you guys and really has their own stuff as well as there being areas where you guys can actually build your own you know skyscrapers and apartment buildings those kind of things so that's what I really want to kind of push forwards within the next few months um, any guys that know anything about bucket please contact me via PM 
because um, I'm not very good with bucket plugins at all, apart from World Edit and Warps. That's pretty much all I know about the kind of bucket side things. So stuff that can actually allow us to, you know, make things off limits and on limits and things like that would be really, really useful. Um, this is another idea just that I want to throw at you guys, a survival server, server. Would you guys be interested in me basically paying for a survival server and letting you guys on? Uh, just so that you can do your own stuff, it'll be in vanilla. Um, and I'll, again, I need bucket people to tell me what kind of plugins I need to make sure that you know you don't get griefed and things like that. So when you do build a house, nobody else can destroy it, those kind of things. Um, but would you guys be interested in that? That's what I kind of want to know if you if you kind of want that because um, I've started to make a little bit more more kind of money off YouTube and uh, you know I'm not too bothered about you know it it being my money. I don't see this as a job. I see this as a hobby. And what I want to really do and what my channel should always kind of I want it always to just kind of stand for is is for you guys because you guys are the kind of people that that. Obviously, by, by seeing some adverts, that earns money. So I want to give you guys back as much as I can, uh, you know, with the new city server and possibly a survival server. And I want to basically just pay for that out of my own channel. And you guys can just join for free, and that's it. You know, you'll be able to do whatever you want on there. I'll stay up as long as I can kind of keep it up and people are still interested in it. So if you guys are really interested in that, you know, post in the comment section below. Tell me if you're interested in that. Tell me if you're not interested in a vanilla survival, those kind of things like that. That would be... That'd be pretty good, you know. That's what um, that's what I, I I kind of been thinking about as well, just trying to get stuff, more stuff, kind of back to you guys. Um, and of course, when the Dakarages is kind of done, at least this village, there'll be the Hunger Games server that I'm going to be doing, which will have competitions on it, and you can win real stuff. Um, obviously, you won't be able to do it every time you go on. You won't be able to win stuff. Otherwise, I'll be a very poor man. Um, and I just won't have any money, but what I'll do is I, I might do some sort of monthly competition or something like that. Um, and I might even do some fan art competitions and things like that where you can win, for example, uh, I think you can get Steam gift vouchers. So I, I might do something like that at some point that, you know, I really want to do some more stuff where I give stuff back to you guys. Um, so that would be quite cool. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at my list as I do have a pretty big uh, list. Um, also, the kind of commenting black back is is becoming really difficult. Um, I'm probably getting around 700 to 1,000 comments a week now, which is a massive number, especially when I'm trying to comment back to every single one of you guys. What I'm probably going to have to do within the next probably one to three months is just stop commenting back. Um, what I'll do instead is I'll do live streams where I'll basically just be playing a game, or I might do Dakacraft, or I don't know, just playing a, a general game with with people that can just join in, maybe just do some multiplayer stuff on, on you know, Loadout or Battlefield 4 or, so, you know, something like that. And you guys are able to just comment in the side below and I'll answer questions as we're going on. So I still want to have that connection with you guys. It's just getting almost impossible now. It, you know, there will be a point where it'll be physically impossible to me to actually answer all comments um, or even the vast majority. And I'm already starting to get to the end, I can already see the actual end of me not being able to do that anymore, which is a real shame because I do enjoy uh, talking to you guys and, and getting feedback from you guys as well. Um, I do get, um, uh, and this is onto a different subject, I do get a lot of requests for the big Star Wars stuff. And I have to say no at the minute for the big Star Wars stuff because it's it's pretty much impossible. For example, a Star Destroyer it probably take me about nine months to build. <laughs> and that's if I stop doing the rest of the content, otherwise it could take years. So it would take so long to actually build. If there was going to be a tutorial, it would be a hundred odd hours long. It takes me about eight to, well, it takes me about four to eight times the amount of length. So that's hundreds and hundreds of hours or maybe a thousand hours spent doing the tutorial. I don't think there's enough hard drive space in the world to actually do a tutorial on it and it just won't get watched. Um, what I'm kind of thinking of doing, and I want you guys to really give your feedback on, is smaller scaled down versions, so not the one-to-one -one versions. Um, so kind of like smaller ones that you can still kind of work with. And I still, the thing is that I'm going to have to think about it if I do do the smaller ones. Obviously this will be after the kind of tutorial list type thing. I'll have to make sure that they can fit in, for example, if I'm doing a Star Destroyer, I'll have to fit in the, in the actual kind of um, the, the flight bay hangar type thing, the hangar, that's what I was trying to go for. I'll have to still be able to fit in, for example, TIE fighters and TIE bombers and things like that, so I need to make sure it's a good size. Um, but what I'll probably do, if I do do that, and if you guys think that, that you'd like that, um, 
And if you don't, obviously, just say you don't. <laughs> say you, you know, if you're going to do them, do them massive, um, which I won't be doing them massive. So, or I might do them for myself, but I won't won't kind of tutorial it because it'll be impossible. Um, yeah, so I need to figure out a good scale, and I'll probably do really small versions of them. And and by really small, I don't mean tiny, tiny, but um, you know, maybe a hundred blocks long versions of them, or 150 blocks long versions of them. That kind of that kind of scale instead of I think a Star Destroyer's two thousand blocks or one thousand. I'll just quickly look for you guys actually, um, just to kind of see what we uh, as a kind of idea at least um, of of the kind of kind of size for it. Yeah, so according to um, according to the Wikipedia, it is one thousand six hundred meters long. So I could do a tenth scale size of that, one hundred and sixty blocks long. Um, which is still pretty big, you know. It's it's a complex shape. It's still going to be a long, long tutorial. Um, if you think that, that the destroyers are around, I think 140, you know, it'll be a longer. It'll kind of be a battleship size, but because it's a, a star destroyer, it's so much more complex in shape. But I could do a one tenth scale, and I'm I'm pretty sure I can do that uh, pretty easily. If not a one twentieth scale, or I might just do both, um, and then see what you guys think of that. But you know, that's an idea. I want you to guys to give me feedback on if you'd be interested in the, in like mini big Star Wars ships. You know what I mean? Uh, but kind of smaller versions, smaller scaled versions of the bigger stuff. And by the bigger stuff, anything above you know the Corellian Corvette that you see in A New Hope, uh, the Tantive Five uh, Four, or I think it's Tantive Four or Five or whatever it's called. That one is going to be the biggest that I'll ever go to. Um, but I am planning on building that at some point, and it is actually pretty massive. Um, I didn't really realise until actually having a look at the actual size um, of it. So that's another kind of thing that I want you guys to kind of get back to me on. Um, the custom map for the Dakar Ages, I'm still working on that. Um, I'll probably do some sort of video this month about the kind of progress on it. Um, just to kind of show you guys what's going on and, and how it's looking and things like that. There's still so much work I need to do in that. Um, I could just give you guys the basic map, but then of course if I release an update for it, which looks a lot better, you guys are going to lose all the builds that you've done on that map, so that's why I've kind of held it back, um, just to stop you guys from getting kind of annoyed with that. Um, but that's pretty much it, so it's been a kind of, um, a kind of not too bad, it's been a pretty good month actually. Um, it has been pretty good, so, so I mean I've had, I, I had loads more subscribers than I was expecting, um, but that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that's that's it for the update video. If I've missed anything, make sure to kind of post in the comments section, and I'll I'll try and get back to you. Obviously, if you've got any more ideas or the things that you want to see on the channel, uh, make sure that you post in the comments section below because I will basically from these update videos. This is where I take my main bulk of ideas for for what what's going to be coming up in the future, even if it's not going to be coming up in March because uh, I haven't got space to put it in. I'll still kind of plan it for the future. Um, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this kind of video, and it's kind of given you an insight into. Uh, kind of what's going on, what I'm planning to do, how I'm going to have to do it, and all that kind of stuff. It kind of gives you a better idea of what's going on on the channel and things like that. So, um, you know, make sure that you keep uh, kind of commenting because um, I do. I'm going to be listening to them as much as I can still, even before this whole it kind of gets too much. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.